hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agi and today we are going to be making Kenyan style green bananas so you know we call them matoke but this is not actually matoke because in Uganda basically matoke is mashed but green bananas in Kenya we also call them matoke so today we are going to be making this amazing recipe that I'm going to give you guys so I love my matoke made in a certain way so I'm just here to share with you how I like my matoke made there are so many different ways you can make your matoke but this is just my way so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button so that anytime you want to make these amazing matoke or green bananas you're able to find this recipe quite easily so let's get on with the video so you will need 10 to 15 green bananas which are nicely peeled and you can just half them or just cook them as they are two tablespoons of tomato paste one big onion that is nicely chopped, one big red bell pepper, a small bunch of coriander or dania. This will depend on the amount that you want to use. About four to five tablespoons of cooking oil, some salt to taste. And when it comes to salt, you can always add the amount that you want. And then you're going to need this small bowl of different ingredients so here we have some garlic we have some ginger we have uh, fresh turmeric we have onions and then we have tomatoes so we are going to blend this up just to give our because we don't want to have the tomatoes sticking out of our green bananas so we're going to blend this mixture very well so after blending the mixture this is what you're going to get as you can see you can't see anything sticking out you can't see whether it has tomatoes onions ginger turmeric garlic so i'm gonna light up the flame and then i'm gonna put our pot just to heat it up a little bit and then i'll add a little bit of cooking oil the five to four to five tablespoons of cooking oil so I'm just going to let the cooking oil heat up. As you can see, it's nicely heated. So I'm going to add in my onions. So I'm going to stir my onions until they're nice and brown or golden brown. So when they're golden brown, now we are going to add in our uh, blended tomatoes, the tomato mixture, the mixture with the onions and tomatoes and garlic. So we are going to continue stirring until it's nicely cooked. And then I'm going to add in my tomato paste. So next I'm going to cover it and then I'm going to reduce the flame to low and then I'll just let it simmer for a little bit for about five minutes or less. So after five minutes I'm gonna add in my red bell pepper and then I'll just continue mixing and then I'll cover it again for about five minutes and then I'm gonna add in my salt and mix it again. So I'm gonna let it cook for about another two minutes. And then I'm going to add in some water. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add in the green bananas. And just stir it a little bit. And then I'm going to cover and let it cook for about 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes you're going to add in your coriander. At this point the bananas are kind of soft. They're not fully cooked so I'm gonna cover it again so I let it cook for about another 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes I think your bananas will be done but this will also depend on how the bananas are because there are bananas which take longer to cook and there's some green bananas which cook really quickly so if you're able to pack it with a spoon and it goes that it goes in nicely then it means that your but green bananas are ready so voila it's time for plating and as you can see our green bananas are ready and this is really delicious even by looking at it you can just see that it's super delicious so you can have this as it is. You can have this with some meat stew or some chicken, whatever works for you. I really don't know. I can even have this with a nice cup of tea and I'll be good to go. 
So guys, if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button so that anytime you want to look for this recipe, it's going to be really easy for you to get it. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime I'm going to upload a new video, you will be notified. And don't also forget to like and share this video with your friends. And I hope that I'll see you guys in my next video. Say what you want to say to me now.